welcome back to our study of mind rubrics and let's start with our rubric for today which is <clears throat> conscientious trifles about right so i think all of us are about aware about you know conscientious you no know, in some way conscientious basically means people who are very very sort of sincere in their work you no know, who are very involved in their work and who will take a lot of effort to make sure that whatever they are doing is is done with lot of uh, integrity you no know? with lot of integrity meaning ki there should be no mistake in it that they should not do anything which uh, will give them undue advantage ha huh? so they should not do anything wrong uh, to out of selfish interest or they should not do anything which will um, you know spoil the work that they are doing or which will spoil the relationship or which will spoil uh, the art or anything so everything uh, has to be done with lot of uh, commitment uh, lot of um, sincerity and effort put in lot of effort so that whatever you do you do it with with pure intention pure you should it should be for the good of everyone ha huh? everyone will benefit everyone will uh, like it so it is not just uh, doing it in the right manner in in your work but also in your relationship also in your thoughts in your feelings oh i had this bad feeling for this person for this thing are i should not have i should i should be no good i should be good it it is wrong to think something like this for other person it is wrong to um, do like this it is wrong to not do your work properly so everything has to be done in a very very moral manner so it it has to do with lot of right and wrong morals values ethics principles this is what these people are very very concerned about am i doing something which is principally right which is principally accurate which is principally um, correct hmm so involving or taking great care painstaking efforts diligent or governed by or made or done according to what one knows is right scrupulously honest right so therefore they are very orderly they are very self disciplined they are very duty bound they are cautious they are thoughtful they are they are musing they are pensive they are careful they are, huh? so this is how these people are very very sincere committed in their effort in their work in in everything they do not just in relation to work conscientious you can be with work with family with relationships no oh i am having relationship with this girl i should not think of any other girl this is also conscience no i am having i am committed to this um company so i should not be uh, sort of enrolling for any other company if i am getting job over here and i am getting salary over here i should do my work with the best of my intentions with the best of my effort even if i am getting less salary from the organization it is my duty to do my work very very meticulously sincerely so i will do it ha huh? this kind of commitment Hmm? if i am singing a song if i am singing a song then i should sing it to do justice to the person who created this song they should feel are wah nice very well he sang the song if i am uttering the words of the uh, or the lyrics of the song i should utter, utter the words in a very very clear and articulate manner if i articulate it in a wrong manner it's it's not good for that person who has written the lyrics 
So I have to sing in proper tune. I have to utter the words in the proper uh, pronunciation. Huh? Everything I have to do it very properly. So that is why the rubric is conscientious trifles about in the minorest of details you want to do it with full full sincerity and commitment you know that every small thing if i am writing down that song i have to write it in a very very nice proper language in that mm, manner only i cannot write here and there it is for it for them it's like a religious scripture you cannot alter religious scripture it has to be written like this only in this manner only like this only so that is why there is a certain sense of rigidity a certain sense of uh, strictness towards oneself that i have to do it like this this is how it has to be done because this is the right way to do it huh and then they are always anxious are did i do something wrong did i did my hand shake oh did i get bad thought did i utter badly am i talking properly have i used from wrong, uh, some wrong words or have i misspelled some words while i am recording this video oh uh, uh, i am sorry uh, 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 this is okay no huh? so there is a slight hesitation in their talk you will see hesitation mm, sir uh, like this this is okay this is fine uh, or or you, you think i should do the video better i you think this meaning is not good you you think i should you should use more dictionaries this dictionary that dictionary also huh you think i should also read not just one encyclopedia but also two three and then 10 materia medicas only then i should talk all right what if i what if i say something and then people start using and then it turns out wrong oh my god i can't tell something wrong oh this is how conscientious person will think oh i should not do this should i do it if I do it, I have to do with so much of effort, work, all this I have to put in. Only then it, will, it is correct. Whatever I ha say has to be correct. I should not say anything wrong. I should not uh, just imagine and say whatever I like. Whatever I say has to be authentic. Whatever I say has to be uh, well thought of, well studied, well documented. Only then I should say. This is how a conscientious person is thinking. He or she is very, very sincere, earnest, committed. And there is lot of attention to detail. That is why trifle, attention to details, to very small, small things. Okay. And the top two remedies in this are Ignatia and Cilicia, as given in Kent's repertory. Top two remedies in Kent repertory are these. There are other remedies also. But we'll focus on these two remedies, right? So first is Ignatia. So Ignatia, you know, they see this. Ignatia is a very emotional remedy, you know, very moody, huh? changeable, huh? Co contradictory, one time happy, one time sad, all that. So they are very emotional in their relationships. That if I liked this person, then, you know, Ignisha has one delusion, if, if they hug someone or if they looked at someone in certain manner, then they feel as if they have already been married to this person now. Now they cannot look here and there. Now I have committed. I cannot marry anyone. I cannot uh, anyone else. I cannot look towards anyone else with that kind of feelings. I cannot even think, forget, look, I cannot think. This is ideal love. I am in complete love, ideal love. This Ignatia is very idealistic, ideal. Love at first sight. And then after that, I never look at any other girl ever in my life. Not even the thought, thought not even the feeling. Fully, fully into this person. Nobody else. Never ever again. Delusion that she has already been married. When she, they have not actually married. Maybe she has talked to that person only two or three times. But the feeling is, our emotions are very deep. We have got connected. Similarly, Ignisha have, have this strong uh, idealistic feeling towards art. You know, art has to be like this. 
songs have to be sung in this manner only no remix no 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 remix she how can you do remix it's so it it's impure you are spoiling the the essence of that song you are spoiling the spirit of that song how can you do this how can you modify add one or two words here and there and then say in the name of remix no it's wrong it's wrong it's wrong how can you do this it's okay so song is for entertainment no it's wrong you cannot take some other per- person's work and do like this how can you do it this is wrong so for them it is a it is a question of right and wrong it is not a question of entertainment for the other musician it is a question of entertainment are what is the problem people are enjoying it people are loving it people are liking why are you getting stuck in all this morality and right and wrong and all this this is too much of idealism forget your idealism it is okay are no old songs are very very melodious how can you spoil them with all this remix no so ignisha is very idealistic that once this song or this person or this relationship is finalized then i am fully committed i am fully sincere to that relationship i cannot tolerate any kind of alteration in it slightest even the thought of remix oh remix how can you even think how how can you even talk about this this is wrong that is ignisha huh? the next remedy is silicia silicia seems to be especially concerned about their image they are not as emotional as ignisha so what i remember one patient she i gave her silicia and she did really well on ignisha so her concern was that whatever i do no she was in the school whatever i do no doctor teacher should like my class teacher should like whatever i do so whenever i am writing notes i will i will write it exactly in the same manner you know like she said answer number 1 like this like this then two like this like this now sometimes what happens doctor suppose teacher has written uh, this and this and this okay now by mistake teacher forgot to write and in between this and this and this so and teacher forgets in between then what she does she puts a arrow in between and then on the top she writes and so when i am writing also no doctor i will write it in that manner i will also write the mistake that the teacher did that also i will write because i feel if i don't write it in that manner no then teacher will think are she is not doing exactly the manner in which i told her to do so then she may give me less marks i know that it is just a simple mistake by the teacher i can write and but i am not able to doctor i just feel i have to do it exactly like the teacher has told me to do like the teacher has written on the board that exactly i have to do so this is what silicia is they want to exactly replicate a particular identity that this is my what my father has become he has become a doctor so i also have to become a doctor whatever if i don't my god what will the world think they'll say he is his son and he is not becoming doctor ha huh? teacher says i am the best student and i am not doing what teacher said i have to do exactly what the teacher said i have to do i have to wear such particular clothes i have to talk in such a manner i have to have my hair done in such a manner i have to behave in such a manner that everybody feels i belong to this you know i belong being a doctor i belong being the best student i belong being whatever i have chosen to be i want to be like that for that i will do exactly whatever has been told in the rule book exactly whatever is in the rule book i will follow it has to be done exactly in that manner and it has to be done in a little bit of mechanical way exact copy you have to be exact copy no slight alteration okay that day this button was open of my father so i think i should also be open or it's okay for this shirt this this button looks okay no 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 my father this is what silicia is 
exact copy very tiny tiny things you see shirts button and hmm, this in this nobody is going to ask them but they are worried people will ask them they are worried people will feel the button is not same means he is different people will not feel from such minor things that he is different or he is not obeying but silicia patient feels it they feel they have to be exact copy exact not here and there so they are very anxious will i be able to live up to the expectations no i am father of this this big doctor this this big lawyer this this big whatever will i be able to fill up their shoes will i be able to live up to their expectation teacher is saying that i am the best student she has expectation that i will stand first in the class will i stand and that expectation creates lot of anxiety in them tar, 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 tar. to fulfill that expectation i have to follow the rule book exactly 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 if i move here and there little bit also oh my god okay answer sheet also i have to write one after two after three i should not say or a third one first i'll write then i will write two then i will write one it's okay but they feel it's wrong how can i do that this is what trifles mean nobody cares whether you write third answer first or second first or third first for but for silicia it is important are it is okay what you write is important if you write the correct answer you will come first no i have to write correct answer but also in the order that teacher has asked the question also in the order that is given in the book are it's given in the book just because they have to have some order no 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 but i will follow that order only They are little bit mechanical, rigid. That's why we say Silicia is rigid, obstinate, headstrong. This is their rigidity, like this only. No, no, not this, not that, not the. No, no, exact copy. That's it. That is what how Silicia is. That is what is conscientiousness trifles about. Okay, so. some cross references of this hmm? some cross references first cross reference is carefulness so we have already studied carefulness carefulness is also they are very meticulous religious in their work but they feel if they don't do it in such a manner then there will be some harm some injury will happen that is what is carefulness cares worries full of is always tense or he will this happen how will it happen will this happen how will... they worried very bahut chinta karta hu bahut i take stress very easily this is what is cares and worries cautious oh my god if i do this maybe something will go wrong so rather not do it so prevention is better than cure that is what is cautious so we have done all these rubrics you should go and see these three rubrics you will understand them in much more deeper manner delusion neglected his duty he has okay so in conscientiousness it is about right and wrong so neglected duty have i done my duty have i not done my duty have i done it properly have i done it exactly or have have i neglected here in delusion neglected neglected is important neglected is have i ignored it what i should have done i have not done oh i should have done this i should have done this i have not done this then this is my mistake why did i not do it why did i not do it i have i have ignored ignored my work hmm? if if the words like ignored i should have done and i have not done like this comes then you think of neglected okay wrong fancy he has done okay i have done something wrong but here fancies fancies is imagines maybe i did something wrong ha huh? maybe that day i talked in between are i think did was it wrong to talk in between was it wrong to talk in between this fancying are maybe then he imagined this then that must have this imaginary delusion imagination then he is imagining then he is maybe he felt wrong that's why he is not uh, behaving nicely with me this kind of imagining 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 that something wrong happened because i talked something wrong or i did something wrong imagination is delusion hmm? 
fastidiousness fastidiousness all of us know very meticulous in in work but it is more to do with work everything has to be in their proper place more than work it is place order everything has to be in order in their proper place that's it but they don't feel if they don't put it in order then they have done something wrong then they feel restless till till i put everything in order and everything is neat and clean i cannot feel very uh, good or nice i have to put everything neat clean tidy then i feel good this is fastidious but he is not feeling that if i don't put neat clean clean tidy then oh, how can i do this this is wrong oh, I, I, what i am doing is a big mistake this is what consciousness will feel that they will feel that they have done some big mistake by not putting things in order fastidiousness is i have to have it in order if not i don't feel so good rest cannot when things are not in proper place hmm? very similar to fastidious no rest cannot till till things are not in proper place no but so a slight difference fastidiousness everything has to be neat tidy in their proper place here it is only things have to be in their proper place not necessarily uh, it is about punctuality and it is about neat and tidy and perfection in work i have put everything in order now i can sit okay trifles seem important okay there is one more rubric like this trifles are important but here what is missing is consciousness is not there this are you don't give so much importance to small things no no let's do this also let's do this are you this is not important it's okay no no i want this i want this very small small things they pick into that is what is trifles things which trifles are basically things which are not important we, but you feel they are important like uh, writing in 1 2 3 only ha huh? writing that and these are very small nobody cares who but they they care they feel this is very important okay so that's it friends i hope that all of you learn something from this rubric and that you benefit from this rubric in your uh, in your practice i look forward to talking with all of you in our next rubric till then please do give your feedback your comments your likes mm Uh, for for this video see you all soon till then bye bye